In Magalang, central Java, this is Indonesia's Borobudur Temple, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Now it adds a new entry to its long history as the site of the first concert from a global orchestra. More than 50 musicians from 18 countries, including Russia, the US, India and Indonesia, are performing together on the temple grounds, representing their home countries on the world stage. The purpose of the concert is largely to promote cooperation between G20 countries. The new orchestra is an initiative of this year's G20 president, Indonesia. The G20 is made up of the world's leading economies. This year's meetings have been overshadowed by geopolitical tensions. Music is what actually brings all cultures in the world together. We each enjoy it. We each derive inspiration from it. And uh, we think it's the perfect symbol and medium with which to talk about inclusion, with which to talk about diversity, with which to talk about us as humans coming together to help solve global problems. The visiting musicians arrived in Indonesia a few days ago, giving them only a short window to rehearse together. These many countries with all the language barriers show it's hard to communicate, but I think it's truly beautiful because music is one of the only languages that everyone can speak. You don't need any translation. The orchestra's creative director, pianist and composer Ananda Sukarlan says he believes music is a tool for diplomacy. I hope to open their eyes for uh, that, that music can unite, that, uh, that an orchestra uh, speaks better than all the summits and all the uh, researches about, about peace and about friendship. Most of the performers in the orchestra are women, and many are under the age of 30. Organizers say they want to challenge the status quo of classical music by creating an orchestra that is truly diverse. A mission they hope to continue long after their first performance. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Magellan, Indonesia.